Had a great conversation at one of the more recent shows with one of you, one of our viewers, talking about some vintage Morgan dollars. And the general question was, why are there certain coins I just can't find them? The mintages say they should be out there. Well, in today's world, we understand that there are mintages and then there are populations. And what it tells us is how many or how few. Tonight, this coin is that perfect story. Happens to be the year 1886, happens to be a New Orleans minted coin, but it's all about the story. All right? It's all about the story. It's an average mintage. They made a little over 10 million, 10.7, right? But today, if you go and look at NGC's website, just as a, a gauge, you'll see this. You'll see 300,000 plus 83 O's. You'll see 400,000 plus 85 O's. You'll see another 400,000 plus 85 O's. And then you're going to see the 86 O in uncirculated condition, and it's going to be 2,001 coins known to exist. Didn't forget a zero. That's it. Why is that? What is that? So let's take a step back for a second, and first let's talk about the grade. It's an about uncirculated 53 to a 55. That's the technical term. But I talk rather fast. I know my predecessor Don did the same, and he came up with the phrase super slider. Because I'm talking about uncirculated, or is it about uncirculated as the grade? And where I pause can be a drastic difference. Because this coin in uncirculated condition is thousands and thousands of dollars if you can find it. So our challenge is finding the coins in this Morgan Dollar series. And there's about 12 of them that are just wow when it comes to circulated and then uncirculated. And the grading scale is 0 to 59 uncirculated and then 60 to 70 and uncirculated. So we're talking about coins that are 53 to 55 on that scale. Beautiful, about uncirculated, AU condition coins we call super slider. The challenge is always finding the coins and where the curve hits. Are they closer in price to a circulated coin or are they closer in price to an unk? The same coin in a fine 12 condition. My competition's at $139. Not horrible. We have them available at $69 ourselves. And then you look at the uncirculated or that beautiful, beautiful 60 plus, right? For a mint state 60, we found two coins this week. One of them at 2749 and the other one at 2950. So I said a second ago, where is the scale slide? The grade is a 60 and it's worth 27 to 2900 dollars. A 12 is worth $139. So where should a 50 be? Right? Well, if a 50 was at $1,500, $1,000 less than a 60, would we say it's a great or a bad deal? Well, that goes back to the start of this conversation where I referenced with the gentleman I was talking to at the show on conditional rarity. Some coins are out there, but the condition is where it stops. And we use NGC, PCGS, ANAX, because they publish every coin they've seen in the last 35 years for the American public, us, to take a look at it. And it shows you what they've seen, right? But it also tells us what is not being seen. And again, as I referenced, the 83 0 300,000, 84 0 500,000, 85 0 400,000, even the 040, the last New Orleans minted Morgan ever. Over 300,000 coins seen all grades, and 90% of them are uncirculated. This coin, the 86 0, 2001, in 35 years have been graded as 60 or higher. Now, where does that stand? Right? The 1890s. That's the home of the crazy, scarce, uncirculated New Orleans minted coins. 
And as a general statement, that's pretty darn accurate, right? The 95 old, there's only 151 coins that have been certified in 35 years, 60 or higher. 93 old, right? Only 717 seen in 60 or higher. 94 old, 1170 coins seen in 60 or higher. And those are 10,000 plus for beautiful uncirculated coins, right? Then you get the 96, 97 old. Beautiful coins, very similar to this 86 O. And then the next rarity for O mints is this one, the 86. So they made 26 New Orleans minted Morgan dollars. And then this on the conditional rarity, the uncirculated scale, how few are known to exist, this one ranks number six. But it's affordable here tonight with us. Our competition, 479, another one at 599. Same coin, about uncirculated. We call them super sliders, as I referenced earlier, because again, when I talk about uncirculated coins, or am I talking about uncirculated as a coin, we don't want to confuse anybody. But these are AU 53 to 55s on the technical scale, and 60s where unks are. Guys, we got to put a one minute clock up. We're down to single digits. Took us nine months to put this group together, and we're going to talk about them for six or seven and have them go bye-bye. <laughs> Love it. But this is exactly the reason why. It's not a bad thing or a good thing. Did the Pittman Act have something to do with it? Absolutely. Right? In 1918, Woodrow Wilson signed into law the melting of 60% of all the Morgan dollars ever made from 1878 to 1904. And we just don't know which ones they were. Well, today we actually can say we do know which ones they were. They melted some 83s and 84s and 85s because there's only 300 to 400 to 500,000 coins known to exist in uncirculated condition, but they destroyed the 86-0. And we know that even though 10.7 million coins were made. Today, there's only 2,001 coins graded in 60 or higher. So again, with a $2,700 to $2,900 value on an uncirculated 60 and a fine 12 at 139, I look at this 299 for high grade circulated and say, oh yes, it definitely is a sleeper. You gotta join us, only a couple left.